Just got through whipping out this uh, cool little minim minimalist wallet for my son for his birthday. Yeah, it's not a hot rod project, but it's just something that I've really been wanting to do. Make it Made it out of an old 50-year-old baseball glove. to make my son a wallet for his birthday and I'm starting by deconstructing a couple of vintage ball gloves that were mine as a kid. What's cool is it still has my childhood address when I was probably about eight years old. It thing's pretty old. So I follow a few channels on the old YouTube there that uh, guys make really neat leather wallets out of vintage baseball gloves. Well, being a baseball freak and my son having a birthday in a couple of days, why not wait to the last minute and teach yourself a new trick? Man, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to see if I can't make one of these baseball gloves wallets. I know it's a hot rod channel. But you know Spanky is always up for a challenge. Let me get this thing tore apart. And I'll show you with some of the stuff I ordered. Looks like I need a new wallet myself, huh? I don't know why. I ain't got no money. All right, so we need to figure out how big of a wallet we want. He's a young man, so he probably don't carry a big, thick wallet like uh, us older guys do. I've got this thing taken apart. Now I need to go clean it because it has got 100 years worth of filth on it. Well, I've been playing with this ball glove, taking it apart. Because what I'm going to do is make my son a ball glove wallet for his birthday. I've never done this before, and I thought it would be cool. I've second-guessed myself a couple of times about... The process and learning a new trick in just a couple of days but it seems like that's how I roll wait to the last minute so if you see this video that means it probably turned out because his birthday is tomorrow but what I've done after wrecking my brain trying to design something on my own I gave up and I went to a website called uh, Make Supply. And they have these free patterns for wallets. I'll show you what else I bought. I bought a bunch of these uh, templates. And they come in all various shapes and sizes. And however, it would be cool to have a uh, big old wallet like this he is a young man and i've just got a feeling that he would rather carry around a minimal minimalist wallet something that's uh small like that right there I have a couple of pockets for cards and your money so we're going to try that first and if that don't work then we'll uh then we'll shoot for something different. 
and I'm going to use my baseball glove that's roughly 50 years old and I've been cutting it apart testing a few things out and getting different ideas from stuff I had laying around business card holders stuff like that trying to get a size so this is definitely not a how-to video we're just gonna we're gonna see if uh, if I can make something work out of this so now I'm gonna take uh, this ball glove I got two different ball gloves here and I'm gonna try to find one that's gonna work with this project I've got a catcher's mitt and then I've got a filter glove All right, so I think I found out where I want it. I'm trying to catch as many words as I can. And uh, I've got the grip type pocket. I didn't catch the name, but I caught the Wilson and the part number for the glove right here on the front. I think that'll be cool. Kind of got it lined up where I think it's going to work the best using as much of the glove as I can. Now, I've got plans for the rest of this glove. I'm going to do... Uh, Probably going to do one for myself and some type of small identification wallet that both of my grandsons can carry around with them out of these two gloves. All right, let's pull this up and see how we did. You can see where I've scratched that out. Let's see where we got the... One thing that I didn't do, I need to do this for the thumb, where you can slide your uh, slide the thumb up. Go ahead and cut that out. All right, so I got that done. And what I was looking at, the little window that the pattern shows is cutting into my grip tight pocket. I just went ahead and dropped it down about a quarter inch and did it right there. That way uh, it doesn't affect the, uh, the words right there because that's what we're trying to catch is as much of the character as we can. All right, so now the other stressful part is let's cut this out. And now I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, glue this down. All right, so... Uh, Went ahead and scratched it up, glued it.
All right, let's uh, burnish these edges again. And then we'll see if it takes stain after this. it out anyway I'm finishing up the sewing part I've gone through four needles and I'm bleeding all over <laughs> this is uh, this is not that easy guys those guys on the other video sure make it look easy maybe Maybe, just maybe, it'll be gift-worthy. Well, I gotta do some cleanup work, but I think this is pretty cool. One side looks a lot better than the other side, but my very first one. I got out in the garage and I took a 50 year old baseball glove and I made something. Inspiration guys. Now I've gotta go ahead and, and uh, burnish these edges again and clean this thing up and get all my grimy prints off of it. I'll show it to you in shortly. Well, here it is. Not too bad. Got a little thumb thing back here to get your back card out. A little stiff. A little stiff right now. But hey, this is just uh, pick up and go to the gym. Put everything in a small package. And you don't have to carry a big old nasty wallet around like that. Yeah, maybe he'll like it. I hope so. Just goes to show, never too old for new tricks. Now, get off of YouTube, get out in the garage, and go build something. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next episode. Spanky's gone.